Who wants to speak to an exorcism and seance? Whispers in the distance of people sketching in crayons. Horrors like the lime, and you're a dragon straight to hell. To me, they're just another pathetic spirit to prey on. Hey, um, either I'm needing my medication, or there's demons in my region, and people are levitating, so I'll stop it. Slammer's got you bumping while you are is in your head. Paint a picture for yourself and go on. I'll be the SOU to the fucking t I was shaking at the window like Pookie with a pipe But there ain't no director when the movie is your life Look for answers in the book but it takes too long And it ain't like Nina Simone can make new songs They said if I... When I perform, haters say I'm sick with the words Some wanna shake my hand so I spit on it first Yeah I'm arrogant, no I'm confident If you say I'm arrogant I'll take it as a compliment Make money, money, make money, money, money Need money, need money, need money, money We're all hustling, making that dough Get cash, get money, that's how it's gotta go Yeah, 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 yeah,
Hold on. And y'all know this next line, but I'ma flip it how y'all accustomed to. I'm so con, you bloody twat! Who the fuck are you? <laughs> any cotton when he was rhyming to sense. Looks like you couldn't find a right cotton yarmulke for the size of your head. <laughs> Yo! Now me and Soul Khan, friendship really ain't too good. We could argue, shout, throw a few hooks. We'd really be at each other's throats. Well, you would. <laughs> See, I could clothesline that little blob of a head from off of your neck, you're so small if I stand back and clock you again, I feel like I'm looking down the opposite end of a binocular lens. <laughs> now, I've never tried opening the door to see what being religious uncovers, but I did feel like a blasphemous Jew when I fucked your pig of a mother. Oh! <laughs> I'll kidnap her, put her through a test to see if she has the faith. I'll tie her hands up, then partially wrap her face in gaffer tape and place a massive plate of gammon steak under her nose and see if she salivates. Oh! <laughs> He's never had no mates. <laughs> Bullies punched him, leave a glass in his eyes. He was a debate team member where he'd argue for pride when you Look like that, girlfriends are harder to find. See, he's happy that now he's spitting bars all the time because he's failed at every other part of his life. Oh. But he does have some music videos. So for research, I tried watching them. One is him in a basement shouting, lick my nuts, suck my dick, with no chicks and lots of men. I mean, <laughs> I mean come on, Soul Khan. You know your video's proper bent when it's more of a sausage fest than this don't flop event. <laughs> Pretend. The fact is, he follows Judaism. But a couple of things have really made me review it. I mean, you have no long grey beard, and if you did, you'd look stupid, plus you never wear a yarmulke. I'll just say that he's Jew-ish. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck you for bringing Gok Wan glasses to the battle and see. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker's as nerdy as you can be because he carries the steeds of Woody Allen and Mr Bean and Ugly Betty's the shag of his dream. <laughs> Judges, I hope you're concentrating, man. He said, hold on. Let Soul Khan spit, please. He said, my yarmulke, quote unquote, doesn't fit atop my head. I blame you because I bought it from you at your job at Next. <laughs> hold on. Now, nah, hold on. That big ass forehead could fill a sky that's clear. People see it and they're like, damn, I know they built an IMAX here. <laughs> I know you had a similar line in your final doubles match, but, well, fuck the next line, your wife is fucking fat. <laughs> Tenchu called him a bigot. He'll deny it now that Khan is here, but I think now I know where Prince Harry got his Nazi gear. <laughs> See, to me, you're bottom tier, or maybe just less good. You ride dicks of yanks so much, I thought you were Tim Westwood. <laughs> Try that 1812 shit. You even come and try approach my shore, I'll slit your throat and hang you up by your disconnected vocal cords. You work it next. Yeah, that's supposed to be a clothing store. Then why in God's name do you always look so homeless for it? <laughs> it's always, hold on, hold on. It's always dirty football jerseys. A jump is for athletics. Knowing damn well you do nothing that's athletic. <laughs> I guess you fucked up and got a skag with bad credit. Shit, I'm battling Fox next month. Me and Whack Rap is a magnetic. <laughs> See, every day you try to aim and match my past and future methods, but you sweat simply thinking of my wrath and ruthless vengeance. If you plot yourself a course, I'll reach that latitude in seconds, and I just showed I'm better spoken in the language you invented. Oh. My resume's the best. We hardly adjacent. I respect B.A. and Zest, not their garbage replacement. If I lived around here, I'd roll with Yardies at Wasteman while he's in Soho chilling with the Bottiest Wasteman. <laughs> I'll dump your carcass in Covent Gardens and teach your harlot what rape is. Your boy got a real deal? Well, now you're gonna die trying to bargain with Satan. 
Hold on now. And you got Diz too? Well, that shit'll just be priceless. We're gonna leave you lifeless for trying to intervene in the Middle East in crisis. <laughs> and y'all know. And I know. Y'all know I wear these glasses because my vision sense is damaged, but I don't need a pair of these for me to sense a faggot. <laughs> Yo, blood in the water, baby, let's go. The fuck, Sol Khan? He's a guy that knows faggots. He said, I swear, look at the size of those patches. Seriously. At school, the nearest he came to pussy was watching gymnastics. And even now, Sol Khan makes the in-betweeners look like chick magnets. It's tragic. Girls say when he's in the bed, he's never been the best. He comes quick, they call him American Express. I bet in the... I bet him that you stress, it don't take much for him getting a boner. He'd even eat his own mum's pussy if someone said it was kosher. <laughs> no. Now how are we gonna believe you're taking over the globe, Khan? When not a single record shop in England has ever sold, Khan. I saw you choke against Paul Rich where you forgot your own bars. I can say I deserve the win against Rich, where a soul can't. Oh. And when you choked in that battle, you failed a memory test, but you still won. I guess luck was on your side like Professor Green's neck. Whoa. Now ask your ancestors. They know about 50 people being forced to live in a house. Bomb threats, pinning them down. Armies rolling through, unloading the clips and the rounds. Murdering entire villages and innocent towns. I'm talking about the Nazis, right? Wrong! That's what his people are doing to Palestinians mm. now! <laughs> victims around. That part of your persona has just been ripped apart. I'm betting there's a picture of a dead Palestinian on the back of your victim card. <laughs> See, he got played on Hot 97. Now he thinks he's becoming big. Against QP, he said, who the fuck am I? Like a stuck-up prick. Well, 97% of Hot 97 FM's listeners were thinking, who the fuck is this? Yeah! <laughs> you want conceited so bad you would suck his dick. <laughs> that battle's never gonna happen, but it's obvious you're still on his fucking nuts, bruv. I'll Pikachu and blast toys, huh? That's as close as you're gonna get. Now shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> And I should have wore a Borat disguise for when you battled me, so I could get away with saying, throw the Jew down the well. <laughs> so my country can be free. So my country can be free, faggot. <laughs> oh, everyone, please show some respect, please. Shut up. On YouTube, I saw this whack little video of you angrily spitting flows. I couldn't tell if you were rapping or just passing a kidney stone. <laughs> See, I took over New York with an incredible rap crew while you were at home in Norwich developing man boobs. <laughs> Every day your wife's gone and leaves his chump at home. He's on Xbox playing Black Ops until the sun is low. His children come in and ask for food in a hungry tone, and he's like, Shut up, you little cunts, I'm in the fucking zone! <laughs> Your complexion suggests you only go out on days in December. Forget death, your album should be called Faces of Censor. It's apparent that your parents had a crazy agenda. It looks like they threw out the baby and raised the placenta. <laughs> See? You like that, huh? You coming up, or? I went on your Facebook. I see you talking shit with your buddies. All I saw was you soliciting money for my trip to your country. I paid for my trip up front. I ain't need your division to fund me. But Er knows I'm worth more than any bitch that confronts me. And Er, remember when I asked you for someone better at rhyming? You said Sensa begged me for this match, right? What is feminine whining? So hold on, our football pads have protective pads. You call, you sold dirt and mad that. Sensa also wears protective pads. They're called tampads. 
Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> now, per the stereotype, you might talk about how soul is cheap, but I just dropped a classic album y'all can download for free. Soulcon.com, by the way. My songs move hearts and minds while other dudes pretend to. You're a rapper, right? Right? Where's your music, censor? See, oh, my shit's been on BBC, MTV more recently. If this city is a culture, when they're gonna leave the keys to me? I ain't here to debate whose bars are fresher. My crew's co-signed by DJ Premier and Lord Professor. Oh, See? And I got fans like Royce the Five Nine. You got fans like Troy, the white guy. <laughs> So I don't really care if this shit gets proper views. Motherfucker battle rap, I am more hip hop than you. Ooh. Yo! Round three on censor, let's get it poppin'. Now he's invented a special dance where you never need to reach your toes. It's just head, shoulders, knees and nose, knees and nose. <laughs> But he wishes he could grow, cause his height has not feeling like an insignificant kid. You're like every bad boy rapper in the 90s cause you always wished you were big. Mm. And upon seeing him, calling him big headed seems a little bit dumb. How the fuck would you make your glasses fit if your real head was half as big as your egotistical one? Ooh. As soon as this had begun, you could sense the arrogance of this Jewish guy. Cause he's full of himself like a cannibalistic suicide. page of his Bible reads, and I quote, Anne Frank's diary. <laughs> <laughs> the Jews' evolution has clearly involved a size decrease to help their hiding survival needs. The fraud of 9-11, oil the pride possession, the worldwide recession, all reasons why the government of the United States is hated. More reasons why Saul Khan's a piece of shit because the government of the United States pay his wages. Oh. He's on internal affairs, ensuring your police procedures are legit, and I'll admit it must be hard to shit when the officers in your precinct call you Sergeant Snitch. Oh. And now you think you're down because you got some bars to spit? When he heard he was doing URL, he hoped it was coding JavaScript. <laughs> Let me guess your motto is, make a mistake, you gotta pay the price. The snitching ain't just a job, it's a way of life. If the police paid him right, it'd help him take all the powder from the streets. Your intro music should be whoop whoop, that's the sound of the police. Whoop, whoop, that's the sound of the police. So, New Yorkers, are you cutting in on? You're looking at the motherfucker who snitched on Hollow the Don. Oh! And on the outside, he looks like a mole, and you know that he is blind, so it's ironic when he gets to work, he's the mole on the inside. That's it, I'm done talking to this bastard. The battle was only arranged three days ago, but fuck you, you're just a warm-up for disaster. I don't even know how to begin judging that, innit? I wish I weren't even a judge. Like, I'm just gonna say overall, the tiniest bit, I gotta give it to Sensor, cause I can't say OT, innit? Should be OT, big up both them, man. This is the kind of battles you need and don't flirt. You get me, done, one. Yeah, hold it down for one second. Um, I thought the first round was the closest, and I think the first round, Soul Khan edged it by a little. And the second round, I actually think Sensa owned the second round. But at the same time, I think he kind of fell off on the third round, and Soul owned it on the third round. So it just comes down to first round, and in the first round, I think Soul edged it a little, so my vote goes for Soul. All right. I know everyone wants Soulcon to win, but at the end of the day, Sensa hit harder every fucking round. I want to say, a lot of people say that, oh, he got one round and he got the other two rounds. I think Sensa hit harder every single round. It's the dopest battle of the night so far. That'll go to Sensa. Yo, Tenshu, one half of the tag champs. Fucking hard battle right there. The I honestly reckon it should have been OT. But seeing as we can't do OT, I'm going to bring it down to whose lines of thought were better because they both were mad consistent. Uh, slightly so con, man. In terms of um, creativity, man, like originality, style, sense of merch, it, man, but slightly so con, man. Slightly. Yo, 
well done, man. I don't know why I agreed to about judge this battle, man. Yo, Sense is my boy, but I think Soul Khan edged it a little bit, man. That's it. So. Yeah, here we're back at Blood in the Water, man. That battle was the epitome of what Blood in the Water was about. I must state, every judge voted OT, but as usual, we're trying to cut the OT shit out now. It was 390s, and with a 3 to 2 decision in the end, it went to Soul Car. Make some noise. Yeah. Coming real fucking close. Yeah. This dude is easily one of the toughest opponents I ever faced and will face in my life. This man's one of the baddest motherfuckers in the English-speaking language. Make some noise.